Hello everybody, it's about the astrology report I uh, planned to do yesterday but I was so busy doing some things um, so I will do it today and um, from uh, very very to begin uh, with it it's a very interesting times uh, with an astrology right now because uh, um, what's going on is that uh, Jupiter uh, is gonna stay for uh, a long time in uh, Libra and right now uh, Venus it's also in Libra so uh, there is a lot of power within this love uh, it's going on and it's this desire to everything to be in peace and harmony and uh, working out it's gonna start uh, a feeling that increased powerful energy from uh, uh, Jupiter so uh, some of you maybe felt that uh, over the week um, you are prompt to switch, change, uh, you feel like something moved, like uh, maybe the bad part of your life, uh, kind of like run away, there's something get out of your life uh, on it. And uh, this will keep on going because Mars, uh, it's in the Sagittarius and uh, it's pushing the things in the right way. So, um, as far as the today, today it's a uh, September 11, um, and uh, you probably remember it, uh, the Twin Towers stuff. Um, just uh, do your things uh, and uh, keep this forgiveness inside of you. Uh, look at it, uh, this uh, portion of it, specifically uh, on this kind of times. And I just want you to mention that uh, whatever part of your world is, just do your things uh, on a proper way and uh, use this um, uh, stuff uh, not to affect your life, uh, specifically your soul life. It doesn't matter what religion you are, it doesn't matter what part of the world you are, uh, you always can be, as I said before, it can always be, be love. So, to the beginning right now, the moon, uh, it's a very special place today. The moon, it's in conjunction, which is, is together with uh, Pluto and Capricorn. So, uh, your emotions uh, are about uh, to surf. Uh, your emotion is that uh, you want to uh, reconnect to something very special, to to look at it. Uh, I need to leave this crap away from my life. Uh, but I want to connect to something out there. I need to look in me. Pluto is a retrograde. Pluto, as I said before, it represents uh, the plutocration, the surrounding, the 1% of people that uh, you want to hang in out with. So when it's in a soul, uh, like a retrograde right now, in a soul vibrations, you will going to need to speak with yourself, uh, the higher self, to seek the higher things. And right now it's a perfect moment because there is this uh, beautiful trine uh, between uh, Pluto, the moon, and Mercury, who is a retrograde. To remind you to everybody that when a Mercury is a retrograde, it's communications internal, not external. External communications, I'm talking to you personally, we have communications internal, those are the communications, me, my higher self, me, God, me, the universe, and so on. So, how does this affect uh, the things with the service today? It's you to become a better person so you can serve better. Uh, about uh, this trine and right now the moon it's really give this energy really just pushing through it uh, also there is a, um, a semi trine which is a um, with uh, Neptune and Neptune is also retrograde so there is a lot of uh, stuff uh, going on with the retrograde planets uh, it's about uh, you to foresee the visions for a new hope, uh, which is uh, Neptune in uh, Pisces. 
And today you will be prompt to look deep inside of you, what the situations, how to fix the situation, how to look the things uh, deep inside of you, but also how this will serve you. Um, for the next uh, 24 hours, uh, we look for it. Let me just explain this uh, something a little uh, very powerful that um, you can look uh, on whatever the world you are, um, the ascendant will be a little bit different and that might affect uh, your point of view, your point of situation. So let's say I do this report as far as the New York time. And when you see yourself uh, other than eight hours, you may see the moon, it's a little bit offset. And the moon aspects with uh, the ascendant of the ray, uh, it's represent the event horizon. It's, uh, it could be a different for you. So there could be a slightly changes uh, with uh, on the things, but I will talk more generally about the moon where it's at. So should be like a three, four hour, a three, four uh, um, degrees difference around the world. So, um, tomorrow, Monday, uh, the moon is still going to be on a Capricorn and, and uh, during the day and afternoon, uh, it's still going to have this um, trine with uh, Mercury, but it's going to be very small. It's going to start uh, shifting towards um, Aquarius and um, in the afternoon, the late afternoon, you will see the slightly shift on it. That uh, the need of that service and uh, uh, the tensions from uh, Uranus, which is in uh, Aries, will affect the moon too. Uh, they will be calmed down. So in the late afternoon, the energy from the beginning of the day it will be calmed down. It will be uh, brought down as the vibrations. And. Uh, on Tuesday, the moon is already in uh, Aquarius. And when the moon is in Aquarius, uh, she, when it starts shifting towards the middle of uh, Aquarius, it's going to be this beautiful trine uh, with Venus. And the emotions within love, uh, a lot of the people will feel this uh, powerful love from Venus and Libra. Uh, let me remind you that uh, Venus and Libra, it's the highest point of love that you can have. She is also very powerful in, uh, in Taurus uh, because it's a color of uh, Taurus. But uh, the main, um, the main uh, power that Venus has, it's, uh, it's in Libra. And right now Venus uh, has a pretty good harmony with Mars, uh, which is in, uh, in uh, Sagittarius. It's got a very good, uh, it's going to have this very good emotion with, uh, with the moon. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, we're talking about late afternoon, it's going to be star feeling this uh, and during uh, Tuesday night uh, and so on. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the moon, it's actually, the Venus actually is going to start feeling this pressure from Uranus, from the universe, that something it's tension, something it's pressure, something he didn't did, something he didn't do. Uh, what the love uh, need to be and the universe is going to start connecting with uh, with Venus about the love to put the tension of you to look at it someplace else because Uranus is a retrograde in uh, Aries and Uranus says I am the universe right now so you're going to start have to feeling this uh, beginning this week next week uh, you're going to feel this uh, tensions inside so uh about Wednesday, the moon, uh, it's uh, around 1 o'clock p.m. New York time. There's going to be this uh, finger of God, uh, Yacht, uh, which is a uh, two planets there and a sextile. And in the point, uh, it's a third uh, planet. But this third planet will be, for example, this uh, will be the sun. So... You will be received this uh, inner thinking about to connect to your father, to connect uh, with the masculine power inside and to look at it for a new hope, a new I 
the new I am. This is going to be a very powerful change of you to seeking yourself to change. Um, this is on Wednesday, uh, 1 o'clock uh, p.m. your time. You might feel that energy like uh, it's going to be there. I really suggest you that during this time, take your time uh, to look at it. Uh, what is their emotions that you want to change? Um, Thursday, Thursday the moon is going to be uh, pretty much in uh, conjunction in, uh, in Pisces with uh, um, Neptune and you during this time you may receive uh, visions, may receive an answers, may receive uh, this uh, uh, messages that it won't be clear. And the reason they won't be clear is because Mercury retrograde will be start having this opposition with uh, uh, Neptune, and they both are retrogrades. So uh, there is a lot of soul power, soul energy that you kind of like you're getting, but you're not getting. Uh, look the message, but it's not clear. You may see like to the water, to the dream, but it's not perfectly like you want to be clear. And the emotion is gonna be uh, right there. But the energy is about you to foresee about those dreams. And that will be on Thursday. Friday, there's going to be some uh, tense energies. There's going to be like these huge tensions uh, coming up. And uh, the moon is going to be opposing uh, pretty much a lot of stuff. There's going to be a lot of triggers. We're talking about it's going to be squaring Mars. Uh, Mars will square, um, and we're going to start feeling the, the Mars squaring uh, the Sun. Uh, the Mars will square uh, the retrograde of uh, Mercury. Um, the other square that is going to be, Venus is going to be squaring, uh, will feel this power too, um, of um, Venus opposing Uranus and all those uh, little square that uh, it's not going to be full, uh, but it's going to start feeling towards uh, Pluto. And at the same time, uh, Mars uh, will start squaring uh, Mercury. And Mars is going to be start feeling the, the, that also the square with uh, Neptune at the same time. But because Mercury is affected to it, it's going to be some like a lot of talk. So you gotta be very careful what you're talking, how you're saying things, how you do things, because this is gonna be some tensions in there. And some of the talks you may hurt people, may do things. And be careful on Friday what what's going on, because it's gonna be this ah, tension, tensions in you. And uh, the moon will shift uh, on Friday and uh, it will be uh, moving towards uh, areas and once it's in areas uh, this uh, aggravation energy is going to be still uh, still uh, going on pretty much because uh, during the the midday um, there's going to be this uh, square with uh, with pluto and uh, capricorn and you will have like this tension why do I still have to serve others? Why do that's gonna be me? Is I am the one, and you will feel these tensions because uh, the moon, it's an Aries, it says I am, and a Pluto, which is retrograde, it's uh, in Capricorn. And at this time, there's gonna be some lots of uh, thinking of really me, me. Me, I am, and that will be put you on a positions of you to think about uh, yourself and look deep inside of you because at this time the moon is going to be trying Saturn that it's in Sagittarius, and moon it's in fire sign, a Saturn is in fire sign, which is going to give you the energy like look, it's you, it's a secret, it's a, it's a, it's about you, look inside you know it that it's you have to serve and on sunday the moon it's gonna be join uranus and when that happened you will feel uh, the universe inside of you 
and you're gonna be shocked a little bit because Venus will be opposing that power the love the things that you're thinking about love will be shaked in you and this is gonna be the time when you are gonna be feel uh, very well connected with uh, uh, the connection between Mars and uh, and Venus is gonna be pretty pretty good Venus is 24 degrees and uh, in Libra Mars is 24 degrees of Sagittarius and you will bring that tension that energy between couples between lovers uh, between uh, um, partners you will bring them to see uh, what else it's out there is the emotion that, that the universe represents and a Sunday it's pretty good uh, for a people who basically they go to church and they are like we need to put our lives together it's gonna be pretty good for them yeah. the other thing is that um, that uh, emotion is gonna be um, trust within the universe to trust whatever going on in your life uh, it's going for a certain purpose you will feel like uh, yes it's me I got the purpose I got the picture I got the situation I got the things and um, that is actually if you take a look uh, I will go backwards uh, for uh, like uh, two days um, because uh, the moon on Friday it's gonna be the full moon and that's why uh, people will feel this uh, tensions on it uh, the masculine and the feminine energy is gonna be an opposite of each other so they can see I learned the lessons did you learn the things and when the moon uh, moves out of it uh, as a full moon on Friday and it connects with Uranus your questions your things that you did not see you will actually see the aftermath uh, when a Uranus uh, uh, and moon meet together I hope this report helps you out I hope that everything's gonna be okay for you and don't forget, whatever you do, just be love. I'll see you next week.